100 years ago today, on Armistice Day, the end was announced of one of the most devastating wars our world has ever witnessed. A war which caused unthinkable pain and suffering. But on that same day, from the shadow of darkness, a bright beacon of hope was lit by the people of Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland. Dr. Astley Clark began a campaign to establish a university in honour of those who had made sacrifices in the Great War. We are the only university in the world established as a living memorial to the First World War thanks to donations large and small made by the local community. I can only imagine the clarity of vision and the greatness of heart it took for the people of this city and the surrounding counties just emerging from World War I to decide their most fitting war memorial would be a university. Without their generosity, and particularly the leadership shown by members of the Leicester Lytton Field Society, we would not be standing here today. Having had the experience of living in intimate association with large masses of soldiers during the war, and having been personally responsible for the medical examination of many thousands, I am particularly struck with the exceedingly fine national asset we possess in our lads of 18. To the honour of those who took their part in the Great War, to the glory of those gallant fighters who came through, and to the memory of those devoted heroes who gave their lives in the cause of freedom. Education alone is an asset of which an individual cannot be robbed. Let us therefore offer higher education as our war memorial. Today, we will be dedicating this site as Centenary Square. And through this dedication, we look forward to the next 100 years of the university, our second century. This university, as the city itself, is notable for its general humanity and support of the community in which it is placed. You have now become a university of sanctuary, offering scholarships to people who come here for enough, many reasons to seek safety and sanctuary and learning. And you, the citizens of this city will be supporting them and I hope will continue to support them. It is a proud boast that I have that I was reared on this campus. It is a wonderful university. I feel it in my blood and I am truly privileged to be here at this epoch-making event launching yet a new enterprise and generosity from you, the citizens of this city. We look back from a position where we are very proud of our university. It has a richly deserved national and an international reputation for its teaching and its research. And I'm particularly aware of what we all owe by way of a debt of gratitude to our forebears from the city and the counties when they envisioned the creation of this great institution as a fitting, as a lasting, and above all, as a living memorial to those who had been sacrificed during that conflict. Earlier today, we began a pilgrimage that will span three years. It marks the occasion when the fund to create the University College was established and will stretch to November 2021, the centenary of the year when the University College was opened. This morning, at the Arch of Remembrance of Victoria Park, Sir David and Michael Attenborough, along with Lord Willett and I, we laid a poppy wreath on behalf of the university. This marked the start of a pilgrimage to lay poppy wreaths at memorials across Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland over the next three years. Later today, 
11 of our centenary scholars will represent the university laying further wreaths at memorials across the city and counties. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago, we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break face with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Together, we remember. Together, we honour those who laid down their lives for freedom. And together, we share the vision of those who established this university as a beacon of hope for the future. Ut vitam habiant, so that they may have life. <laughs>